Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, ID Jester. Thanks for checking out my video. So this video, I'm going to be talking about the background history and the hows and whys of my super cool, super neat project that I've been working on. This is a project that's really taken me 20 or so years to really uh, kind of get to the point where I'm at now, where I can actually do something about it. And this is creating a fantasy world and creating stories that I can share with people. So there's lots of ways to create uh, stories and share them with people. Uh, you create a movie, which obviously I don't have the resources to do. Um, you can write a novel. And although I am a decent writer, I just, I'm not exceptionally good at it. Um, I have created many short stories that I would share with some of my D&D players, and they seem to enjoy them, but it did take me a long time because I'm not really proficient in writing, I don't have the background for it. It's something I would really, really, really like to do, it's just I don't think I'm as experienced or as good at it as a lot of other authors are out there. So, uh, and it takes me a lot longer to do it because I have to edit it and edit it again and again and so creating an actual written novel to create stories is something that's not uh, really going to be my cup of tea. So we can create movies, we can write novels, uh, we can do lots of different things to create these stories. And I've got this fantasy world that I've created for the last 20 or so years, and I've DM'd, Dungeon Mastered, quite a few different groups out there with this world. And I've kind of been working on it in the background, doing things with it uh, throughout the years. And I'm kind of at the point now where I'd like to start doing that again. And I was thinking to myself, what's the best way for me to really create stories and really be involved with it? Dungeons & Dragons is a great way because obviously you get together with your friends and you can tell your story. The problem with... Um, playing Dungeons and Dragons to create your story. The problem is, a lot of the times, the players, they don't follow along as you would like in the story. They kind of do their own thing. They want to create their own stories for themselves, which is a great resource for them to do that. The problem is, if you're going to create a masterpiece world, a fantasy world that people can get interested in and really delve into and enjoy problem is you can't have multiple people trying to create their own thing um, and create their own stories. And the second part of writing and, and, and creating stories through role-playing games such as Dungeons & Dragons, the main issue, I think, is the actual system that holds you back. As I mentioned, I've played my fantasy world through the years but it's kind of been restricted based upon the gaming system, to be honest, because when players come and they want to enjoy a Dungeons & Dragons game, they are assuming that there are going to be certain things that are going to be in the world set up a certain way. So, for example, they expect you know elves to be elves and dwarves to be dwarves. They expect to have the different classes and the different races. They expect magic to be a certain way. They basically create, you know, they think um, uh, a world is going to be based upon uh, the normal D&D &D, uh, rules and such. And that's been fine. And what I've actually done through the years is actually ta tailored my fantasy creation, my fantasy world, in to follow and incorporate the normal rules. And that's kind of actually held it back. So about a year ago, I've been thinking about getting back into uh, creation and story and what would I would like to do. And I decided that the best way really for me is to create my own story and not have it be held back by the rules or the people that are expecting certain things. If you read a lot of the good fantasy novels out there, um, and I, 
I enjoy fantasy novels. I just not a really big reader. Um, it can be good and it can be bad because you know the more fantasy novels you read, the more you understand uh, different aspects of fantasy writing and fantasy worlds and fantasy magic and stuff. But for me, I don't do that, which is kind of good because I can actually not have to worry about falling in line with everyone else and uh, creating basically my own setup here without restrictions in what people are expecting, what people are thinking a fantasy world is going to be. In my fantasy world that I've been creating, like I said, for the last, oh God, it's been at least 20 years or so, has been driven obviously by uh, playing games playing Dungeons and Dragons and creating my stories through that. In fact, I even have several um, Dungeons and Dragons games based on different stories that I created previously on my YouTube channel. That was probably about a year ago. I was actually running five D&D games a week. Um, But, you know, like I said, some of the problems are you run into issues with players wanting to create their own stories, players expecting certain things to act certain ways, in my world, my fantasy world, magic it works different. And for people to come and, you know, play Dungeons and Dragons and want to create a wizard or a sorcerer or a warlock or whatever it happens to be, they'd have to incorporate my magic system into that. So instead of changing my magic system into the rules for Dungeons and Dragons, I'm going to be not restricted by that any longer and I can create it the way that I wish to do it. And I think that once I came across that revelation and I said to myself, wow, how am I going to, How I, I don't have to have a story based upon 5th edition or 4th edition or 3rd edition Dungeons and Dragons. I can have my fantasy world based upon what I think my fantasy world should be like and Uh, how it's going to be different and how it's going to be the history of it and how things get started and and how everything incorporates into creating this fantasy world. So I'm going to be bringing out another video quite shortly. And basically this video, what I'm going to be doing is going through the background history of what people would know if you were on this fantasy world and create it, um, create this based upon what people would think and stories that they've told, their grandfathers have told them these stories and kind of incorporate that into letting you guys know how this fantasy world operates and what's different, what's the same and and how things are. Uh, So when I create my stories, uh, you have some kind of background and some information to go on and 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 you'll understand kind of the basics of how this fantasy world evolved and how it was created and uh, what is all the important things going on. So as you can see in the background here, we've had these wonderful art images just uh, changing and going through to show you all the wonderful different art out there. And the reason for that is... As I talked about, I don't have the resources to create a movie. I don't have the skills to create a novel. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be kind of combining those into something that I feel that I can do rather well. And that's basically what I'm calling a picture book novel of my fantasy world. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be finding all these wonderful pictures out there. And kind of like a DM, I'm going to be describing what is happening kind of in like a story mode and creating my novel that way. So that's why I call it the picture book story or picture book novel, however you want to say it, uh, where I can actually put these images on the screen and then kind of tell you what is going on and talk about, you know, basically creating the novel through uh, the pictures. So you might see a picture And then, you know, I would go and just talk about it, just like you would be reading, say, like a novel or something. More in depth than like a dungeon master would do where, oh, you come across a a room and it's got, uh, 
you know, it's 30 feet wide and 40 feet long, and it's got a fountain in the middle, um, which like a normal dungeon master would do. In this case, it would be more of a story um, novel type setting where the characters that walk in the room, I might be talking through the characters and telling you what their thoughts and feelings are or telling you what they're doing or, you know, basically sort of like a real uh, novel, but with the story element there, but also having the pictures to create and show you uh, what is uh, going on, uh, you know, in, uh, in, in with these wonderful art uh, that you can see that I've, some of the pictures that I've just downloaded, there's thousands and thousands and absolutely millions. We're living in the golden age, really, of, uh, of what I'm thinking of, of fantasy, novels, creations. Uh, it's really good time. If you go online and just type in fantasy images or whatever, you're going to get millions and millions of pictures out there. And it's just so wonderful that I want to use some of those pictures to kind of tell my own story as we go through. So, uh, with that all said, I hope you will join me. Let your friends, if you think some of your friends or family might be interested in joining in along the ride here, and watching this uh, picture book novel grow, um, I don't know how it's going to turn out because I don't, I don't, um, you know, I'm hoping everything goes great and everybody loves it and, you know, it's a, you know, wonderful thing to tell stories and, and creations. I actually got on and was doing search on the internet to see if I could find anyone that has done something like this. So I have some kind of basis, some kind of, um, you know, watch what they do and see what I like and what I didn't like. So I don't know how everything's going to be incorporated. And I don't know how everything's going to work until I create some of the story elements and put them out for you guys to enjoy and then uh, get some feedback and maybe change some things or you know, kind of uh, do things differently or, you know, whatever I can do to kind of uh, to make it better than than it is. So hopefully you'll join me along for the ride. Like I said, the first video that I'm actually going to be cre creating here coming hopefully soon will actually be the what I'm calling uh, the background information so that you have a a basis for when we talk about some of the terms or when some of the characters in these novels use some terms like dark ones. Does anybody know what a dark one is? Instead of me explaining to you what a dark one is, uh, if you watch this background information, then you'll have a basics of, of oh, I know what those are and I, I know what they are. So it's not based upon, say, a D and D rules, fantasy story. It's not based upon anything other than what I've been working on for the last uh, bunch of years. And now that I've taken the restrictions off of having to worry about incorporating that into uh, a game that I can play with other people, I'm creating this basically for myself. And hopefully, other people will enjoy it and and be interested in it. And hopefully, uh, it'll be a huge success. Hopefully you'll be involved in this story and catch along with the characters and uh, hopefully everything will go along great and it'll be a, a wonderful um, time. I think I create these great, wonderful stories. The problem is the way for me to get these stories out to you guys. And the only way that I can think of is, like I said, these picture book novels that I can create that do take a lot of time and effort for me to create them. But hopefully uh, my time and effort will be well used in um, uh, creating these for lots of people to enjoy. So we'll see you in the next episode, the background information. And hopefully, like I said, uh, this will be the start of something. I don't know exactly how it's going to work. Uh, but uh, hopefully you'll give me some feedback, your thoughts. And let everyone you know that you might think be interested in this so that um, they can be uh, part of this and enjoy it as well. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for checking out my kind of, um, I guess, history or my thoughts about what's to come in this project. And we'll go, uh, we'll see you guys uh, in the next episode. So take care. We'll see you soon.